Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, All About the Goddess. The Goddess Next Door bears all in the art studio to catch a campus stalker in this action-packed Isis series mystery. Get your copy of Isis, All About the Goddess in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. The Houston Health Department has reported a syphilis outbreak in Houston and Harris County. Now, according to Houston Health Department officials, there has been a 128% increase in syphilis among women and a ninefold increase in congenital syphilis where pregnant women pass on syphilis to their unborn children. Now, the main reason I believe for this increase in syphilis cases among women is due to the sexual miseducation that women and men have received over the last 60 years. Now, I go in depth on the sexual miseducation that women and men have received in my book, The Woman Crisis, and I talk all about how the sexual miseducation has led to all of the sexual promiscuity, which has led to this increase in venereal disease. Now, the reason why we have this increase in syphilis is because women and men have changed the way they have sex here in America. And back before the sexual revolution, most women only had sex either with a boyfriend discreetly in a lover's lane or a no-tell motel, or they waited until marriage where they had sex with their husbands or the occasional affair that they had if they were that bold. And because of this, there wasn't much of this venereal disease out there because women were not sexually promiscuous. However, as the 1960s came along and we had the sexual revolution in the 1960s, many women, as they became a part of the feminist movement, began participating in sexual promiscuity with men and as they participated in sexual promiscuity with men what happened to those women is as they had multiple sexual partners they oftentimes wound up getting venereal diseases such as gonorrhea such as syphilis and in some extreme cases they would wind up getting an incurable venereal disease such as herpes so as lots of women were participating in sexual promiscuity as they were being liberated and participating in the feminist movement and trying to be more like men, but they believed men were, many women wound up having to deal with the consequence of getting a venereal disease from a sexually promiscuous man. Now, as these women had to deal with getting these venereal diseases, what we started to see was a campaign by the media to try to educate men and women on venereal diseases and trying to be aware of them. This started in the 1960s and 1970s with movies and TV shows where they kind of danced around the issue. But as time went on and more incurable diseases like HIV and AIDS came along, we started to see efforts to try to educate children as young as 12 and 13. And that's where, when I was a boy, we were starting to get educated on sex and getting educated on venereal diseases as young as 13 years old, because oftentimes there would be teens and preteens participating in sexual activity, and they would want to try to educate those kids so that they would not go out here and get a venereal disease. Now, over the last 30 years, it seems like people have taken sexual education for granted. And because they've taken sexual education for granted, we are starting to see more and more increases in cases in venereal disease like this outbreak of syphilis in Houston. And I believe it's because many people have become tone deaf to many of the messages as related to going out here and participating in safe sex. That was a major message among Gen Xers like myself, but as other generations have gone on, they have participated in what is called hookup culture, which is very similar to the one night stands of the 60s and the 70s. And what has happened among hookup culture is we've seen a rapid expansion of sexual promiscuity among women and a small group of men. 
And as these women have gone out here and participated in sexual promiscuity, what has happened is we're seeing more and more women having more sex partners at an earlier age. They are having more sexual partners than their great-grandmothers, their grandmothers, or their mothers. Because in the days of their great-grandmother, they only possibly only had sex with two men, possibly a boyfriend or their husband. And in the case of their grandmother, who was a part of the sexual revolution, she may have had multiple partners in a series of relationships, but she had less partners than her mother did. And now we look at women today, and they're having more sexual partners than their great-grandmothers, their grandmothers, and their mothers. And these days, the average American woman has had over 80 to 100 sexual partners by the time she is 30 years old and with a woman having that many sexual partners by the time she is 30 years old she is increasing her chances of possibly getting a venereal disease like syphilis especially if she's out here having all of these sexual encounters without any sort of protection such as a condom. Now, most of today's Western women are not as sexually educated, I believe, as their mothers, grandmothers, and great-grandmothers as related to having sex in a protected fashion because many of the kids today have become, basically, as I see it, blind to much of the information out there regarding safe sex. And as they go out here participating in these casual hookups or even group sexual encounters where guys go out here and run trains on women, what is happening is many of these women and even teenage girls are going out here and putting themselves at risk. And as they put themselves out here in these sexual encounters, they all increase their risk of getting a venereal disease exponentially. And this is the core reason for the explosion of syphilis in Houston. The main reason why there's so much syphilis in Houston is basically because of the sexual miseducation that has been passed on from generation to generation of girls and young women by their grandmothers to their mothers to their daughters and as this sexual miseducation has been passed on it has led to girls growing up to become women who become sexually promiscuous and as they have become sexually promiscuous what has happened is they have put themselves at risk of getting these venereal diseases and they've become and they've put themselves at risk because again of this sexual miseducation they have received from Madis from feminists Madison Avenue and Hollywood and the porn industry which have promoted sexual promiscuity as something socially acceptable and as they have promoted sexual promiscuity as something that is acceptable what has happened is no one has thought critically about the consequences of what happens when you participate in multiple sexual encounters with multiple sexual partners because when a woman and a man participate in multiple casual sexual encounters and are going out here participating not only in vaginal sex but also participating in oral sex and anal sex without any sort of protection what happens is is that person is putting themselves at extreme risk especially when they are participating in sex acts like sodomy where they're using their tongues or they're using their genitals to participate in stimulating parts of the body that are like the anus. What they're doing is, again, putting themselves at risk because there's a lot of bacteria in these areas. And they're all, then what they do is, again, put themselves in jeopardy of getting a venereal disease. Now, in addition to that, what they also do is go out here and as they're participating in these 
more um, extreme acts of sex. Again, they're participating in it with not without any protection, and they're also participating in it with partners that they oftentimes do not know their own sexual history. Now, a lot of women go out here and they, again, randomly hook up with guys based on how they feel without any sort of vetting. And without any sort of vetting, what happens is these women don't understand that they further increase their risk of getting a venereal disease because if you don't know a man's sexual history and you don't know who his past sexual partners are, you don't know if this man has exposed himself to numerous venereal diseases like syphilis, gonorrhea, and even incurable diseases like herpes and HIV. And again, this is the main reason for this syphilis outbreak. The reason for this syphilis outbreak is because we have three generations of miseducated women by feminist Madison Avenue in Hollywood who have pushed sex in a lot of their movies and films and the porn industry which has gone out here and gone mainstream over the internet. As the porn industry has gone mainstream, a lot of young girls are exposed to porn at an early age and as they're exposed to porn at an early age, they wind up seeing all of these sexual acts and want to participate in these sexual acts in order to get the attention of boys and the attention of men and, the and to get social currency. And as they look to get social currency, they really don't understand that many of the acts they see in these adult films are actually staged and choreographed. Moreover, many of those performers have been checked out by a studio doctor. They have had blood tests. They've had checks to see that this person is as is clear of all diseases. And this is this is where the adult film star has a better sexual health and a better sexual history than the average everyday Western woman, because at least the average adult film entertainer, because this is part of their work, they have to go out here and get checked out regularly so that they can make sure that the men and women they engage in sexual encounters with are not having carrying any sort of disease. And sadly, there has not been much due diligence as related to taking care of a woman's sexual health or a man's sexual health because what they said about this whole syphilis outbreak should trouble men because it's not only the women who are spreading the disease but there are some dirty dick dudes who are going out here spreading disease and some of those dudes are some of them are from the prison system and they've been in that prison with Bubba Tiny Roscoe and Big Dave and then as they have been participating in alphabet relationships with men in prison, they go out to go out here and have heterosexual relationships with women. And as they have the heterosexual relationships with women, a lot of these guys are carrying venereal disease and spreading venereal disease to multiple female sexual partners. And as they spread those diseases to multiple female sexual partners, what happens is this is why you get a syphilis outbreak because you've got guys who are out here sexually promiscuous in the streets who are so-called players and ladies men you've got so-called whoremonger males who are out here participating in sexual promiscuity and you've got prison dudes out here participating in sexual promiscuity with men and women and again with women having multiple sexual partners with over like 80 to 100 oh by the time she's 30 years old this increases her getting a probability of getting a venereal disease exponentially and what's happening is you're seeing this explosion of syphilis in houston which is basically a microcosm of what is going on as related to venereal diseases in america i believe that this is only a small portion of what's happening here in america and it's a lot worse and i believe it's a lot worse because if you have just again this area of houston with a 128 percent increase this is definitely going on all across the nation because as america has gone through this sexual revolution 60 years ago to this hookup culture of the 21st century where again women and men are having more sexual encounters than ever and women are having more sexual partners with men and women more than ever 
and people are exposing themselves to each other and exposing each other's genitals to each other what is happening is we're seeing again people putting themselves at risk and they put themselves at risk because they wanted to go outside of God's order now under God's order he wanted men to be only with their wife or if you're in polygyny your wives and when you're with your wife or your wives there is no risk for venereal disease and there's no risk for venereal disease because the only person being with that woman is her husband in both of these cases and because the husband is the only person being with that woman then she's not at risk of getting venereal disease or spreading venereal disease or even worse spreading venereal disease to her children because the only man touching that woman is that man and that's the way we we prevent venereal disease in the best case scenario unfortunately because we have generations of women indoctrinated into feminism this is the reason why we've got this explosion of venereal disease and we've got this explosion of venereal disease because women have again been indoctrinated into feminism they have watched a lot of casual sex in hollywood movies and madison avenue advertisements and they've watched lots of sex acts in porn and as they've gone out here and seen all of this sex they want to get social currency with guys and get their attention and they don't understand that the only reason for sex is marriage and again as Ringo talks about sex is marriage because basically you are joining your body with that man and becoming one under God but women don't want to marry and again they're having this casual sex and the consequence of that casual sex is all of these outbreaks like this one in Houston and again I believe this is not a isolated incident I believe this is going on all across the country because I've heard statistics about black women having 50% of the population of black women having herpes I mean I believe that there's a lot of venereal disease out there and I believe there's a lot of venereal disease out there because a lot of girls were having sex in the 80s as young as 13 and 14 years old and I believe that there's a lot of venereal disease out there and it should scare everyone because people are not really taking care of their sexual health and I find it really sad that in this day and age that a porn star has better sexual health than the average everyday Western woman because at least the average everyday porn star will go out here and get checked out moreover the porn industry will shut down and get everybody tested if somebody reports to have HIV or herpes they will shut down and at least test everybody to make sure everybody's all right but the average everyday American is running around out here and they're running around having diseases and not even knowing it and that is the scariest part and even scarier is you've got all of these women who are having children and don't know that they have this disease and they pass it on to their children and nobody knows about these diseases until they go to the hospital and try to go out here and deal with something then they find out about it and again it's really sad because syphilis is one of the easiest to cure venereal diseases out there but sadly many women are running around with this disease and many men are running around with this disease because I can't just say it's the women I gotta go out here and hold these dudes accountable these whoremonger males these players and these simps out here I gotta hold all of them accountable because all of them are all a part of what is making this explosion of syphilis transpire in Houston and again I believe this is a microcosm for all of the West I believe there's a lot more venereal disease out there and a lot of people walking around without any knowledge that they have a disease and some even know but won't want to deal with it because they don't want to disrupt their smooth world and this it's really it's a dangerous time out here and as I read reports about this it takes me back to the time after I learned about sex education when I was 13 years old and I remember being 13 years old and after getting a sex education I came to the conclusion that if I kept it in my pants I couldn't get anything and I said to myself if I don't do anything I can't get anything and I'm finding almost 37 years later 
that possibly was the smartest thing that I ever did was come up with that philosophy because if you keep it in your pants, you can't get anything. If you don't do anything, you can't get anything. And in this day and age where you've got so many people walking around with venereal diseases and don't even know it, or some of them that have incurable venereal diseases like herpes and other ones like genital warts, I mean, I find it, it's just a lot better and a lot more peaceful to just stay with the Most High and not do anything because if you don't do anything, you can't get anything and you won't participate in the transgression as related to sexual sin. It's better to just, again, not do anything at this point because if you do nothing, you can't get anything. Sure, you won't get any social currency or any cool points for going out here and getting a girl to drop the skid mark Victoria's Secret long, but I wouldn't want to get a disease from that atomic waste from that special place. No, that's not worth putting my health at risk, and it's not worth putting your health at risk going out here and getting with one of these toxic women who have been with one of these toxic men before them, and a lot of these women have been with so many toxic men that the possibility of you getting a venereal disease increases exponentially over a thousand percent so maybe it's better to just go out here and leave these women alone rather than go out here and wind up having to take medicine for the rest of your life if you get something like herpes or genital warts or going out here and you wind up with one of these diseases like syphilis because it looks like to me like this is this sexual health is a major component of the woman crisis and another component of the man crisis as well because this sexual miseducation has created sexual promiscuity and this sexual promiscuity has created a possible sexual health crisis all across the country now if you want to learn more about how women have become sexually miseducated you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashworth, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to learn how men have become sexually miseducated, you can go out here and pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashworth, the iBookstore, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.